Okay, so if one more person calls me, it's gonna be some pull up and yell, okay? Cause you're messing up my video. But this, anyway, this is part two. But yeah, y'all, we can't be um, delayed and distracted by, you know, the things that we grew. <sighs> I'm doing this video. <laughs> yeah, but stuff keep happening on my phone for some reason. It's interrupting me. But yeah, we it comes to try our faith. No matter, you know, it doesn't matter if it's your fault that the consequences came. Most times... It may not be your fault. Then other times, it's something that God is a, is allowing to happen because you need to see something that you ain't seen before or something that you're not recognizing, you know? And you got to get that stuff together. That's what we got to do. We got to get it together. So don't be shamed. Don't be ashamed of, you know, all this weight you've gained, don't, whether it's physical weight or spiritual weight. Don't be ashamed of it. Just move on, baby. You know, learn from it and move on. Give it to God. Okay? The big G. Not the little G, but the big D. But big G. God, Jesus. The Savior. If you're his. his. If you are his. I promise you I will not edit this. So y'all gonna see all my mess ups. I ain't gonna talk about all that. But, um, I started this journey six days ago with detoxing, as I said before. And the first three days I did the water. I'll repeat again because I don't know if the last video got it or not. I had, um, the, the Ingredients called for cucumber, ginger, apple cider vinegar, uh, mint leaves, and lemon. So I had everything except for the mint leaves at that time because girlfriend didn't have no money, so I couldn't buy it. So I used what I had, and it still was working, okay? So it said to, you know, drink it one, one cup every day, either in the morning on an empty stomach or before you go to bed on an empty stomach. So naturally, you know, you really don't have an empty stomach at night, okay? Because you already ate your dinner and everything like that, so it takes a couple of three hours to digest, at least for me, depending on what I eat. So I did mine in the mornings. Ugh, it was the most disgusting taste, but I made it through those three days. And so then I found another uh, detox drink that was a green drink. It consisted of the same items or ingredients, um, but it added the honey to it. And this time you ground it, y'all grinded it, you know, and blended it together and drank it. So that was a little bit better because I also did it with lime and not lemon. I like the lemon, but the lime tastes better for some reason. So if you want to try that, you can. It's the same thing. So I've been drinking that for the last three days too um, before... Uh, a meal in the mornings and also I decided to do no sugars no dairy no potatoes rice breads um what else did I do I stopped all of those things it's only for seven days don't trip just seven days yes it was hard because girlfriend likes those um m and peanut peanut m and and mess I told y'all before girlfriend likes those things and I added nuts to my diet um I found this protein mixture of mixed nuts that had uh, cashews peanuts pumpkin seed gr uh what is that raisins and almonds but you know they gypped the girl on the almonds y'all now i'm not supposed to eat all these peanuts because again it's an inflammatory um food and i love me some peanuts but these were i think this is a vegan mixture and it's pretty good except it had too many doggone peanuts and it still does it's just dominant the peanuts are ruling you know and it's not right it's just not right because I, I i i'm tired i don't like swelling up you know my feet always looking fat and looking like elephant trunks and all you know all that kind of stuff elephant uh husk is that what they call them elephant feet so i decided to do something about it and that's again my journey for detoxing for this seven days so i tried to get some people to go on this journey with me for seven days ain't nobody holler at a sister but say go girl <laughs> that's all i said go girl well i did have one person my niece but i don't think she started it yet but anyway um, it's been okay, y'all. I mean, I had some slip ups like Friday. I had to slip up because I didn't plan. And so you got to plan. I'm learning. You have got to plan your stuff out because if you don't, you're going to eat whatever is in your possession. And it wasn't that I was hungry, hungry when I did that. I had my drink that morning. I had some eggs, but I didn't get to eat them or anything like that. So basically from that morning, about eight ish on my way to work, 
Um, I didn't eat anything until about seven that night. So I wasn't hungry. My children, we had you know, a friend of ours from church. We, you know, we stayed in our pool for almost six hours. And that basically, you know, you felt the little hunger pains, but it wasn't major. So I was good. I wasn't jittery or anything. Because normally when you're hungry like that, uh, were for me. I can only speak for me. Um, if I go without eating something for a long period of time, um, I get a little antsy, like kind of like a, I guess like a, 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 a addict wanting some, some sugar or some alcohol or drugs or whatever, you know, you can do that with your food too. You can become a food addict. So you grab whatever that's near to you and it's not good for you. So that was my thing. So uh, yes, I was a food addict and I'm speaking past tense. Thank you. But I had a uh, about three slices of pizza and I did regret eating those pizzas one because I could have still said no because I really didn't want them but because I hadn't eaten and by the time we got back home it was after nine o'clock um I knew I was not going to cook anything and if I had cooked anything it was going to be too late for me to eat it so I went ahead and ate those and you talking about somebody's stomach was hurting just after three days well, that was the that was after a day, twenty four hours of detox, and that mess hurt somebody's stomach right here. It hurt the girlfriend's stomach, but anyway. And so then Sunday, I didn't eat anything, and that's for spiritual reasons. But um, that was good, and I, that was not a mess up, but that was a good thing. Um, so that pizza was one, and then I had I think Sunday after my spiritual fasting that morning or that yeah that more from that morning to about three or four o'clock um i had a little bit of piece of toast and a little bit of hash browns just a little bit because it came with my plate i just just a little bit so those kind of things you got to watch but i wanted i still did good because i was able to lose 10 pounds thank god so in six days, y'all, I lost 10 pounds in six days. Come on now. The first three days, I think I lost about almost five pounds, I believe, a little bit over five pounds, five point something pounds. And that's really good, detoxing this body. And so this detox, it's not running me as far as like, you know, some things you do, you have to quickly go to the restroom. I ain't even tripping like that. My body is not tripping like that. It's letting me take my time. When it wants to expel, it expels, y'all. Yeah, I know that's gross, but hey, it's life. God dog, it is life. <laughs> it's your body. It's going to detox. It's going to expel stuff. That's God didn't tell you to keep that waste in you. So you got to let it go. That's how you made your body. Okay? So y'all go. So well, anyway, um, I think that was a little bit of Lulabelle that came out right there. Y'all know you'll be a hundred of be playing like that. I don't, I don't care what you're saying. But anyway, so this is day six. Like I said, tomorrow was going to be my last day. And I was going to um, introduce, you know, those little foods, the potatoes and stuff back into my eating regimen. But I decided not to do that. Not right now. So I'm going to do another seven days. So I know I think you can go at least two weeks for with detoxing. And so what I have been eating is a lot of protein because I found out two years ago when I started, you know, wanting to actually lose weight and I just talk about losing weight and um, getting healthy. Protein really took this stuff off of me. And so I've been eating eggs like crazy. I know eggs have a lot of fat too, so I have to watch that as well. But for the most part, I've been doing pretty good. You know, if I do two eggs in the morning, I'm good. Sometimes if I haven't prepared a lunch, I might get another two boiled eggs. So that's basically what I've been eating on the boiled eggs. And you talking about somebody not gassy? I am not gassy. So my body is appreciating me right by now, y'all. I don't feel bloated or anything. I don't necessarily feel tired or fatigued like I've been. If I do, it's only because I hadn't slept. That's all. But my feet are not swollen today. They look like they want to get there, which I don't know why. But... For the most part, they're not elephant sized, okay? Ugh, I hate that. And so another reason why I did it because, you know, about to have this event on Sunday and I bought me some new shoes and I put them on and I couldn't strap them because my feet were swollen. I can't stand it because I love me some open toe shoes, okay? And I got to, you know, my feet got to be curt for these brand new shoes. But anyway, so I'm starting my journey. You can start it with me. Just by praying for a sister. 
And I'm praying for myself. Believe me. Cause you ever heard, have you ever heard people say, pray for me? Could you please pray for me? Bobby wanna like, are you praying for yourself? Now, those who ask me that, and I know that they do pray, they have a lifestyle of pray. Of course, I'm going to you know, agree with you. You know, I'm going to do that. But those, y'all ain't praying. And y'all want people to pray for y'all all the time. And you ain't praying at home. God want to hear your voice too, honey. Hello. He tired hearing me on your behalf. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. But, um, yeah, so this is my journey. I'm going to be journaling via uh, video for the next... However long I decide to do it. If y'all want to follow me, go ahead. Because I have a long way to go, y'all. But I did make a goal for this month, this year, I'm sorry, um, to lose at least 50 pounds by December 31. I'm already 10 down, y'all. I have far 10 more to go. You know, and when I really stick to what I said I was going to do, which I am, when I sneak in a little bit, some, some here, and a little, some, some there, it's going to be more. Because I should have lost by 20 pounds, probably. Hmm, the way I'm doing it. And you got to exercise. I haven't done, I ain't did that, I ain't gonna lie. I haven't, I haven't walked, you know, because my feet was hurting. Because of all this swelling and stuff. But I did for the last two days. Well, I got in three days, I think, of walking. And it feels really good. I actually like walking, y'all. The Lord told me that years ago. He said, go out there and walk. I'm like, Lord. At that time, I only had two children, my first two boys. Uh, One was three, the other one was like nine months or so something like that no actually he was six and the um the one i had i think he was maybe one and a half two and a half something like that but anyway i was like lord they're gonna slow me down they're gonna do this they're gonna do that mm -mm. go out there and walk like you do be obedient to what the lord is telling you because he's trying to help us out right. he's trying to help us out right, y'all y'all asking him to help you and then when he do show you what to do and he tells you what to do and things like that you know uh -uh, devil is a liar the devil is a liar it ain't the devil. It's God can't tell you're crazy, but I'm helping you, girl. I'm helping you, boy. You asked. Now you not going to believe that I'm, I'm about to tell you. And I'm telling you what to do for your good because I know what works for your body. I created your body. You the one that added all that extra drama to it. Hello? But anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Y'all, this is going to be crazy. So, however I'm feeling, that's what it's going to be. And, you know, I walked out of depression a couple of weeks ago. And that was to God's glory because I couldn't do it by myself. I had to cry out for help. I couldn't talk. I just had days of crying because I felt like my life was just not anything, y'all. It's like 43 years old, about to be 44. Hey, in October. And I just don't see anything. I just didn't see anything that said, you know, I've been living my potential. You know, I was in school for five years, I think, this latter part. I've been in school since 1992 when I graduated from high school. I started, I was at Prairie View a &M. They messed me up because they got me confused with my sweet mate because we had the exact same name, same spelling, Danielle Smith. Hello, go figure. They didn't think to look at our social security numbers. But anyway, I progressed. I had children's and I ended up. 2011 going back to school and actually studying music. Didn't know you had to do all that for music, y'all. Learn all these scales and all girls. I'm not singing. You just sing, you know. But I thank God for it. So I only have three classes left. And the only reason I am not there today and have not graduated because I don't have my money. But if it's for me to do so, I will. If it's not, I'm at peace. Either way, you know. But yeah, so I'm going to cut this video off, I guess. But before I do, I'm going to show y'all this body. And I was talking to my husband today because when I started the six weeks, oh, six weeks ago, look at that prophesying. Anyway, when I started the six days ago, I was 281 pounds and four ounces. Today, I am 271 pounds and four ounces. So I'm going to just show you my physique. Look at these arms. My arms have always been big. Not this big, but they've always been big. You know? There we go. That's a better picture. These girls here, they came when I started eating. Mm-hmm. And they won't leave me alone. <laughs> but thank God for them, because... Anyway. So, yeah, this is me. I'm going to post some um, pictures... Of me and one of my outfits that I want. These arms are just huge. But see all of this. And you can tell that this excess weight is not for me. Look at this, y'all. See how small my neck and everything is? 
compared to just buying like somebody just came and just took over. That fat girl gotta go. I've been saying I was gonna divorce her, but she maybe she about to go and die. I ain't just divorce her and leave her alive. She gonna about to die. You hear? You about to die, girlfriend. Whew. Okay, so I'm done talking and babbling and everything. So just keep your head high, y'all. Whatever you want to do, it's not impossible unless you say it is. Because God is the God of impossibilities. He makes all things that seem impossible possible. So now that I am on the right track with him in my mind and agreeing with him, girl, you can't eat everything. You got to watch this. You got to watch that. I'm listening. And so I know I'm going to be a success. I have a hundred and I think it was 151 more days of this year. So who knows? Because I have a, uh, once I get to that 50 pound mark. Then that means I want to have, I want to get down to 170. At first I was saying 165, but I want to get down to at least 170, 175. So that means I have still 160 pounds to go. Yeah, 160 pounds to go. I know, I know I don't look like I weigh that much. I know, you you tell then. That's what, oh, that's what I was saying about me and my husband. We were talking about that. And I'm like, most women, you know, who are my size and weight, they look larger than I do. But the way I'm, I guess the way I'm built, he says I carry it well. You know, I, I do for the most part, but that must be hurting, y'all. Ooh. Aches and pains. I ain't finna be no old lady. I'm just 43. Hello? Don't I look good? I know I look good. Ain't nobody got to tell me I look good. Because I know I know I look good. I'm beautiful. Yes. Uh, okay. But anyway, I'm babbling. So, y'all have a great day. And I'll see y'all maybe tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to do it every day. I don't want to get on nobody's nerves. But anyway. Peace out. God bless you. Let his peace be with you. Till we meet again. May his peace be with you till we meet again.